Hello, Cancerians. So keep in mind that no reading can resonate with every Cancerian on the planet all the time. Also keep in mind that energy can be reversed. So if I say that you did something and you know that you didn't, it simply means that someone else in this situation likely did, whether you are aware of it or not. So just keep it as a warning, something to watch for. <clears throat> it looks like you could have been in a commitment. And due to the social aspects of the situation, you are at someone else's feet. Paying attention to their every word and holding on tightly to a choice. There could be secrets involved, and so you're feeling a sense of danger about this choice. Notice that there's two cards side by side where the door is being guarded. So you are trying to prevent someone from coming in or going out or both. For some of you, this has to do with love. But you're quite cynical at the moment where it appears that way or you were yeah you were trying to hold someone back There could be children involved. It does not have to be. You are intently focused. I mean intently focused on something here. Trying to hold someone back. Someone could have been honest. That you were trying to hold this person back. Or you could have been honest with them. That you were, for whatever reason, trying to hold them back. There was intentional confusion, but the situation's being enlightened. I'm seeing a lot of references of trying to keep someone trapped. If you look at these cards, guarding the door, guarding the door, holding someone, like not letting them go, and then this one is trapped in cement. So you're definitely trying to trap someone in some sort of way. definitely see a lot of murkiness too in these cards meaning that the situation is not what it appears to be somebody could be covering up
something from the past. For some of you, it has something to do with someone who has passed on because I'm seeing in the confusion card at the top left hand corner it looks almost to me and that's who the reader is at this point. So it's how I see it. And what I see is it looks like it could be like a loved one up in heaven kind of thing. And I also see the freedom bird, which very much to me indicates that someone could have passed away and it could have been something involving a past loved one. Somebody really is playing games, being tricky, and thinking that it's cute. It's hard for me to show what I'm seeing, so, but you're hiding your face. Because of all of this confusion and trying to hold someone back, it has become pretty much a battleground. This is like a war room kind of situation that's going on. Could be a lot of emotional wreckage. Um, also could be that somebody was mistreated and you're trying to dodge a bullet. You're intentionally pointing someone in the wrong direction in a way that will confuse them. Could be backstabbing involved. Hmm. Okay, anyways, so you are trying to appear potentially blameless because I'm seeing this danger card. And in this danger card, you see that this, it looks like a dog, has a plant on top of its head. And it's like not moving because if it moves, the plant will fall off kind of thing. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I'll tell you in a second what I'm going to say. Wow. Okay. That took me aback. I'm sorry. Let me finish my sentence and then we'll go on. So you are trying to mix in with your surroundings and to look blameless is basically what's happening here. But what I wanted to say is when I meditated, and I meant to say this before I did the reading and I didn't think about it, I wanted to hurry up and get this going. But when I meditated, I saw a club in the meditation. And if you look in this danger card, up above the dog's head is sort of a club kind of thing, right? So there could be some significance to a club. Maybe the issue has to do with you going to too many clubs or maybe you joined a certain club and it's causing problems. I'm trying to think of other things. I'm kind of tired, so it's hard for me to do that. But um, 
clubs in cards, I looked it up and I was trying to figure it out. There's so many different meanings that people swear that it means, but one of them could be a death or an ending. It also could be um, something that happened in the summer. Um, it doesn't have to be. I'm just telling you some of the things that I read. Um, it also can talk about the desire for knowledge. That's just a couple of the meanings. But just take it as you will. The club may mean something to you. It might, you know, ring a bell and you might go, oh, it might not. Okay. Anyways. You're using caution, and you're definitely using your intuition. You are, at least in this card, you're fixated, but you don't seem to be full of emotion. But if you notice, in this card as well, she looks like, I mean, obviously, it's a statue but it looks like someone who is being still someone who is not moving around um, could be somebody listening watching intently caught up in it you know what I mean caught up in the moment interesting I need better lighting so I can see the cards a little bit better anyways so because of Potentially somebody being honest and you're feeling all this danger and um, fearfulness. You're using a lot of restraint. You're holding back. You could be holding somebody's heart in your hands. Um, it's almost like you're holding it for ransom. But it looks like there was a completion or an ending to a settlement or it could be that you're feeling a sense of danger and so you ended whatever this situation was and were settling, are now settling for um, something different. I don't know. It's, it's a situation that you don't want to end. But there was a completion. Okay. I get it. So you didn't want the completion, right? But you're having to accept it. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. Okay. I have to say this. This is the second reading I've seen what looks like a hippie. So there could be a hippie somehow involved. It doesn't have to be. Anyways, if this reading resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And if you're not already subscribed, please do. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.